All right, so we're backstage Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week with Francesca, the designer that we were about to see. How are you today, Francesca? I'm very good. I'm very honored and very satisfied to be here today. Oh, we're very happy to see you. And can you tell us a little bit about your collection and the inspiration behind it today? Yeah, my collection started from the idea of this superhero, this Wonder Woman. So a bit of American pop atmosphere and at the same time mixing with the twist of this woman, what is inside this woman. So having something more intimate, something more ethical and moral that make the beauty and the gentle of this woman come up. So not just a warrior, not just a, an hero, but an ordinary woman that transform herself according to the situation and succeed on this situation. Okay, so superhero, we're thinking metallics, colors, a lot of bright, strong stuff. Here we are. So basically, we started with black, and this is the deconstruction of the ordinary, which is quite strong. And after we proceed into silver color, blue and red. Uh, but this is all uh, mixed with different texture. So basically, you have fur, you have knitwear. So it's all uh, you have a lot of print, you have a jacquard. So it's all mixed and very smoothly come through. And it's the emotional side of this woman that actually starts to come up. Okay, I think you did a great job with tying everything thing in too. I saw a lot of braids on the models, nice strong kind of hairstyle, the metallics, even your nails. Can I see them? <laughs> this is gorgeous. It's very uh, this was just a, woman. It's just a test. This <laughs> one. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration with the hair today. Well, it's always it's always your job when you're working with a new designer to know what the designer is about and you go, you Google it, you see images of the past collections and this designer in particular has these very fun endings in the shows, very unexpected. So I asked for sketches of the, of the designs and it was all about superheroes. So one of my colleagues showed me this, this amazing braid and I'm like, you know what, this may work for the look. And we presented it to the designer and she loved it and voila, we got the look. Okay. Yeah. And we noticed a lot of really, really pretty braids, but it's kind of a messy braid. So tell us how it's achieved. It's almost, it's almost no product, okay. almost. And uh, it's all about, it's all about, a it's all about a technique. It's all about a braiding. It's about uh, how it falls on the face, and it's just beautiful. I think it's so complementary to the collection. Okay. Tell us about the technique a little bit. How did you get the messiness? Did you pull them apart a little? No, 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 no. The messiness you get without, without, with the fact that you don't, you're not using products. So the hair itself is giving okay. you the messiness. And just the, the natural texture yeah. of the hair, kind of. Very doing its own thing. Yeah, yes. Well, these are beautiful, strong women, and they're inspired by superheroes. So the makeup was all about how do you make a woman look strong and tough, you know, like don't mess with me because I'm powerful, without compromising feminine beauty. So there's a shape going on here on the eye, and it's kind of an aerodynamic shape that pulls out. The way we keep it contained is to keep the edges of it diffused. So it's not obvious, it's not shouting, hey, look at this shape on the eye. It just really brings your attention here. Some girls you'll see will have gloss on the lids. Others will have the splash of silver going across the center of the lid, um, almost rough hewn. It's not painted on, it's not precise or graphic. It's painted on with a small fan brush so it looks almost stripy and feathered on the on the edges and the rest of it because this is so much of a statement then it's just clean gorgeous skin and a nude lip 